William Shakespeare wrote all the world's a stage, a phrase that's ringing true for Theatre Yes's most recent project. This is the National Elevator Project, and it is a series of 16 plays that were written for and are performed in working elevators. Are those code? What? I'm regulation. Sweden, one of the projects, takes place in a world where something horrible has happened, and the audience takes on the role of the now brain-dead inhabitants. So you're watching these two people interact at what is realistically uh, just a training day, uh, but it's involved in a much darker, stranger world where people are moved about like cattle. With a maximum of only five members of the audience accompanied by only two actors, the experience is extremely intimate and new. Not this one. What? I like the close interaction between the audience and the performer. I think it's a, a kind of exciting intimacy that you don't get anywhere else. You don't get it on, on, on screen and you also don't get it in other theaters. I heard Venezuela was a big market for us. Mm, there's a lot of demand in the Middle East. Walking the fine line between breaking the fourth wall and interacting physically with the audience and telling a story, this work has added a level of suspense and mystery for both the actors and the audience. It's a brand new experience for me, um, but it's very, very fun because every audience member reacts differently and thus the show is a little different every time. I thought that was really cool just because it's something you don't see very often. People actually going, you know what, I'm going to step back. With another eight elevator plays planned for January and the next big production to be based in a sea container, Theatre Yes plans to continue to wow adventurous audiences with intelligent theatre. The notion that uh, people can be confronted with actors, with artistic performance on street corners, in malls, <laughs> in elevators, I think is fascinating. At the Ticket on the Square elevator in Edmonton, I'm Bianca Jade.